Okay, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our God's Words Exposition. So, our topic for today at this hour is United We Stand, Divided We Fall. So, our reference is from the Romans, from the New Testament, Romans chapter 14, verse 19. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace, to mutual edification. I repeat, Romans chapter 14, verse 19. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. So we know that there is difference, discussions, argument, and sometimes happen in the family because of different point of view. But the path remains the same. Family must come and stay together for good. And because of common origin and root dialect, we are only in one common origin and root. The body exists with different parts but works together for the common good of one body. Each part supports its other and follow one direction from the brain. So the brain gives instruction and the body does the action. Each part cannot say, I have my own brain, but they exist with what common brain they need to follow. Similarly, man have one and only one God to follow, our common Creator, our Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. He let us know that God is our Heavenly Father. Even though we exist with differences, the path remains the same, that we are one family under one common Heavenly Father. These facts are enough to unite us and bring us unity and peace. The Lord's Prayer begins with our Father. This is a universal fact and truth. We are family under one God, one Lord and Savior, regardless of our opinion and tradition and belief. Let us stand together with this truth that we are one family under one God. This will have, this will heal our word and peace, love and unity, prosperity will reign, and God as our common Heavenly Father will be happy once and for all. I hope that this enlightens us that we must have unity among us. Among Christianity, unity is very needed and very vital. We need to unite together for the common good of Christianity, for the common good of the whole world. Because without unity under one God, one Savior, we cannot attain our goal of salvation. And I hope that you are going to patronize the next episodes of this topic. Thank you and God bless all.